Hello, I'm here to speak to you today from a mystery location in Midlothian. That's doing a bit from Edinburgh. Behind me is the majestic handkerchief tree. That's Davidia in Volucrata. And I'd like to speak about the unlikely chain of events that led to this tree being in this country. We won't give you bogey fruit. <laughs> Sorry about this. Fortunately, I'm prepared. Yeah. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, I. This tree's spectacular white crown of flowers found its way into Britain's private gardens only after a series of adventures. It was first seen by the French Jesuit priest Pierre David, after whom it is named. When he travelled into remote China in 1868, at a time when few Europeans were allowed into the country, Specimens said to Kew Gardens attracted the interest of the Victorian nurseryman Henry Veach, who in 1899... Hiya son, I've come enough a long way, I'm needing the toilet, can I just use that tree over there? I think not. <laughs> As I was saying, specimens said to Kew Gardens attracted the interest of the Victorian nurseryman Henry Veach, who in 1899 commissioned a botanist named Ernest Wilson to bring seeds of the tree from China. Wilson, who had never been abroad before, set off on a nightmare journey full of danger and frustration. In China's remote Yunnan province, he was imprisoned on suspicion of spying. He came unscathed through the epidemic of deadly fever and he nearly drowned when his boat ran into rocks. When Wilson found the handkerchief tree, it was a mere stump beside a house which had been built from its timber. Bitterly disappointed, Wilson turned to into collecting other plants, only to come across a clump of handkerchief trees by accident. But the trees were in full flower, and with the Boxer Rebellion in progress around him, Wilson had to wait weeks for the seeds to ripen before he could at last send them back to Britain. The tree takes its name from the white leaves that hang off it like handkerchiefs. And that is how a tree could travel halfway around the Victorian world but still be invisible to most folk today. And now it is back to the studio where Angus Twat is waiting with the weather. This is Pussyk. Good evening. Tube, stop shugling the camera. Aye, wait a minute, I'm doing it. Keep your hair on, you wee ball bag. I'll give you a ball bag. <laughs>